Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be using Newtonsoft to serialize, deserialize, and perform link statements on a dictionary. The source code for this video is available at my GitHub address. We have a console app here using .NET 7. Let's make sure that we put Newtonsoft in here. Right click on the project name, go down to what says Manage NuGet Packages, go to Browse, type in Newtonsoft, Click that, 13.02, install, then say OK. F11 to go into the serialized object. So I'm declaring a dictionary, string string, of car manufacturer. Then I'm going to hit F10. Let us use Newton Soft's serialized object to convert car manufacturers, a dictionary, to a string. Let's build the file name variable. Notice it's the full path with file. Now I'm going to do the test and I'm going to say, does that file name exist in there? Yes or no. Now if it does exist, let's delete it. So F10, so it didn't exist. Then I'm going to do a test on this JSON. I'm going to say, are you null or empty? Now if that's false, we're going to write that file out to that folder. Let's take a look at that. F10, I'm going to write it. Let's go check out the output folder. Notice that we have a file in there now. Let's go ahead and view that with Notepad. Right click, edit with Notepad, and then notice there's our data. Let's use the Newtonsoft deserialize object, F11. Okay, so we build a string, file name, path out all the way to the JSON file. I'd make sure that file is there. Now I'm gonna do a file read all text on that file name and store the content into JSON string. We're gonna make sure that string, JSON string, is not null or empty. And now let's look at deserialize object. So JSON convert deserialize object, and then look at our data type. Our data type is a dictionary and the key value are two strings. So we're gonna take that JSON, it's just a string, and we're gonna deserialize that and make it look like car manufacturer. Car manufacturers is a dictionary string string. F10, let's take a little look-see at car manufacturers. And that's exactly what we thought it would look like. Now we're gonna be using key value pair. We're gonna be looping over the car manufacturer. Then notice on line 76, we're gonna get the key and the value. I'll meet you on line 79. And here is the output of that for each loop. Notice that we have the key, we have the value, starting with Toyota, and we end with Tesla. And that is our second example. Let's look at some link functions while using the dictionary. This is our last examples. F11 steps in there. Notice that we're just building our file name, checking to make sure it exists. And then we're going to read that file into JSON string. Make sure JSON string has some content. And then we're going to deserialize that string object as a dictionary key value, string string. Let's do that, F10. Now that has car manufacturers in that, the same ones that we've been using through this whole video. Now we're going to do our first link statement. Notice we're going to use that object car manufacturer, and then we're going to say group by. Then notice I'm going to build a new type, and it's got country and count in there. Let's go and F10 that. Step in there. We're going to kick out examples 3.1 as our output. Now we're going to kick out the output 3.1, right line, and then we're going to loop through there. I will use the group by to tell you how many manufacturers are in each country. I'm going to continue. I'll meet you on line 129. And then look at the output. We can clearly see that Japan has five manufacturers all the way down to the United Kingdom has four. Now we're going to do another link statement. We're going to say where the value, remember a dictionary key value. So value equals Germany. And then we're going to select the key name to list. So here we're just going to get a list of cars from Germany. F10, step in there, we're going to get the output of 3.2. And then we're just going to loop over this list. Remember this right here turned into a list. And we're just going to loop over that and I'll meet you on line 151. That link statement clearly shows us all the manufacturers of Germany from Volkswagen all the way down to Opel. Our last example is we're going to use that same list dictionary and then we're going to say select key value pair. Then we're going to say where that is contains Ford. Now this right here is going to just return us one value. 
one key value pair. Let's see how that works. So F10, on 158, look how I created a test to ensure car model contains or has a value. Well, I should have named that contains Ford. And on line 166, you can see that I use key value pair dot key dot value to show that to you. And there you have it, team. Serialization, deserialization, and several link statements as examples. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them below in the comment section. You know, your comments are very important, not only for myself, but for other programmers to see your thoughts and experience. Look forward to seeing you back in my next video. Take care.